Well, smartphone apps are causing problems between parents and their kids. We're not talking about social media. These are tracking or parental control apps. Yeah, all into this morning, we're taking a look at whether they're doing more than just keeping an eye on your kids. The dairy cuts up there. Donna Slaughter and her son Josh have a great relationship, but when it comes to the tracking app Life360, they don't always see eye to eye. And that's kind of where we go back and forth is he feels like I don't trust him. And me, I just am worried that something's going to happen to him. You know, I don't ever question that he's not where he said he was going to be. It's more of what if something happens. Tracking apps have been around for years, and there's a lot of them. Their function is pretty simple. They track movement through GPS on your smartphones. At any moment, mom and dad can see exactly where you are or at least where your cell phone is. I don't like the concept of the just people knowing where you are at all times. Like, I always, I always liked it the old fashioned way where you, didn't, you were allowed to make your own mistakes and where you went out, did your own thing, and if you made a mistake, then it would, you would learn from it and get, be a better person from it. For Josh and his mom, the Life360 app came into play after he got his driver's license almost a year ago. It has been valuable for me. I guess the longer it goes on, the more I trust his driving. But teenagers like Josh view tracking apps much differently than their parents. It's a dynamic that psychologist Greg Malice sees quite often in his practice. And um, who, what parent doesn't want to know that their kid is safe? The problem is that for the kids, they don't see it as a safety thing. They see it as an invasion of privacy. It's an issue that could build resentment and distrust in the family. So it can create conflict. Um, and there's been some research to show that um, teens who are feeling like their parents are invading their privacy are more likely to have a lot more conflict at home. Malice says the situation can be resolved, so it's a win-win for both parents and their kids. Parents can talk to their kids and say, you know, we're going to use this only when we don't know where you are and you're supposed to be here, so that the teenager knows they're not just going to be pulling it up randomly to spot check where I'm at and what I'm doing. He also says parents should not keep the app on their kids' phones indefinitely. So for this amount of time, six months or a year, we're going to have this app. We'll tell you when we're going to look at it or when we have looked at it so that you know and you're not questioning. But if over that time we see that we can trust you, then we're going to take the app off and you don't have to worry about it. It's something Josh is looking forward to. He made a deal with his mom to keep Life360 on his phone for a year. Whenever he turned 17, it would come off. That day is just a few months away.